Hi, my name is Chris Wall with the Wall Network. Today we're going to see a live demonstration of vSphere DRS defragmenting workloads during an HA failover. Now this is being done because of an affinity rule that I have placed, uh, and you'll see more of that in the post in the comments. So what I've done is I've powered off uh, ESX2, I did a, a non-graceful power off, and I've got a ping going to a, the virtual machine that was on that. It's a vCenter server appliance. Uh, and I've also got the tasks and events up, specifically the events for the clusters, so you can see kind of what's going on under the covers. So at this point, HA has noticed that host 2 is not responding anymore. It's going to go ahead and mark that uh, as a failed host. If you look at this particular line, it says not enough resources to power on uh, that server appliance. So HA is going to retry when resources become available. Basically, the affinity rule is telling it uh, the only other option for it is to power on host ESX1. However, ESX1 is too highly loaded with workloads right now. So DRS is going to defragment the cluster and shift some workload off of ESX1. Now we see here in the events list it's doing a migration of two VMs. One's called Zangati, the other one's called View CSA. that's my View Connection Server. So DRS is going to go ahead and migrate those VMs from ESX1 to ESX so that we get some room uh, cleared off for the vCenter server appliance VM. So here in the in the task list, uh, task list in the bottom left corner of your screen you'll see two migration jobs kicked off to move Zangati and ViewCS. Uh, so ViewCS looks like it's already moved over. Uh, we see the uh, migrated successfully to ESX in the list. Just a moment, we should see Zangati move as well. There we go. DRS has moved Zangati. So we've cleared off two virtual machines uh, that DRS feels is necessary in order to power on the, the view, uh, I'm sorry, the VMware vCenter server appliance that I have on there. So it basically, HA is going to take another look, make sure that uh, the required memory constraints uh, can be met on ESX1, and it'll go ahead and uh, get it attached to that host and power it on. There we go. So these uh, recent couple lines say that basically uh, that virtual machine, the vCenter server appliance, was moved to ESX1. It's currently powered off. It's going to go ahead and make the network connections to the distributed switch. And then the last action is going to be to actually power back on. So there we see uh, vSphere HA has restarted the machine now that it has room to on ESX1. It went ahead and answered the, you know, did you move it or copy it question for you. And we should see it ping here momentarily. And there's the pings. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it's been educational. If you'd like to see more of the same, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog at wallnetwork.com. Thank you.